reason why I was very against like some of these astrology and uh, medium and all this um, clairvoyant was I feel even as a child like these people would come across as very arrogant to me and they use some of these knowledge and information to 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 control yes. you fear yes yes Yes. And then they say, oh, in order to reverse this, you have to do this and you have to yeah. buy this and pay this money. And, and, then, and then I'll be like, why is this person making my mom do that? It's so ridiculous. And I tell it myself is that. Ridiculous. Very right. That when I grow up, you know. So when Nadia told me about you, I'm like, uh, Nadia, I don't want to do prediction. Yeah, yeah. Life is more than that. And then I realized it's, why do people always do astrology in this manner? Maybe at a certain point, some of these astrologers probably gave them a sense of power or control. Mm-hmm. It probably it went over their head. And then it, and it just, in the mean, and, and along the way, it destroyed so many people's lives, you know? Absolutely. Wrong, wrong predictions and all this. And everyone's just like going, what's going on? You know? <laughs> predictions are completely a misnomer. That's um, exactly strange. You're a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. I thought the same way. And it's so strange, Kathy's Saturn is in fourth house, my Saturn is in fourth house, restrictive childhood, uh, this thing, and a, a, a bit of a burden on your shoulders where you feel that you need to take care. But then at the same time, if you're not able to take care of your own self, how are you going to take care of others? You know, it's so important for you all to learn about these planets and astrology will become a piece of cake because even your um, uh, energy is going to empower the other people, sort their lives out, fix themselves and the world gets fixed automatically.